Hey everybody, this is John for Pioneer Nexus MTG taking a look at the BNR announcement or lack thereof for the format today. So, the big hype over the annual BNR announcement and Wizards does nothing to Pioneer. They did make some changes to Modern and Legacy, unbanning a couple fringe cards and remains to be seen. But as far as Pioneer, their comments were, The Pioneer metagame continues to have a widespread array of playstyles, archetypes represented from tournament to tournament. While there are known pillars such as Mono Green Devotion, Rakdos Variants, and Creature-Centric Aggro Decks, their metagame shares rise and fall at a healthy clip. Recently, new versions of Lotus Field Control have gotten some extra attention, Azorius Lotus Field, but its win rate and metagame share sit about where you would expect a reasonable deck to fall. Without a clear top dog or unanswerable archetype pushing other decks out, we've elected for no change at this time. AKA, no Winota, no Demir Inverter to drive people away from the format. Now, looking at the general consensus, uh, a lot of people were hoping something would be banned for Mono Green, except for maybe the Mono Green Pilots. Um, some people thought something like Fable the Mirror Breaker might be banned. Um, but if you look at the metagame in the last couple of weeks, this is just the last 14 days, so, and this is the winner's metagame, so it does not necessarily mean these are the decks that are played at the beginning of the event, but these are the events, that, you know, decks that go 5-0, decks that top 32 at challenge, etc. Nykthos Ramp, 16% in the field, it's been kind of on the rise, Azoria Spirits kind of rises as a counter to that, Rakdos Sacrifice largely has replaced Rakdos uh, Midrange as kind of the de facto Rakdos deck right now. Lotus Field still having a heavy, heavy presence. Azorius Control, Humans, Creativity, Grease Fang, yada, yada, yada. Nothing too surprising in the top 10. Um, to put it blankly, the Pioneer format is a little bland right now. Uh, there's been a few decks that have risen in the last couple months. Demir Rogues has, has uh, appeared and disappeared. Boros Convoke has become a, a deck. Um, obviously, Demir Control has popped up now and again. Um, but overall, the format, other than Rakdos midrange kind of sinking and Rakdos uh, sacrifice kind of rising in its place, the format's kind of reached an equilibrium point. Um, this was kind of like very much like what happened to modern pre pre modern horizon sets, where modern would get to this point where it would be fairly well balanced, um, no card being particularly egregious. And if it was, it would get banned. Uh, that's kind of where Pioneer has gotten. Um, on the one hand, that's very good because it means your stable archetypes you can continue to play and continue to do well with. The downside is if you hate one of the particular archetypes that shows up all the time, particularly Mono Green Devotion or Rakdos Midrange to a lesser extent Spirits, um, you might not be interested in the format as much anymore. Uh, it's kind of where Wizard stands on the issue, whether I think they should have banned something or not. Um, really didn't do a video f for that, for the format. Um, I do think Karn could have easily gone. I do think Fable could have easily gone. Um, but the format as a whole is in a decent balance. Um, that said, moving forward, I want to thank everybody for their viewership on this channel. Um, you know, we've gotten almost 1,200 subscribers in a little over a year which is quite nice. Um, you know, things have fallen off a little bit of late, but you know, that's in large part due to disinterest in the Pioneer format in general because the focus has been on Modern with the Lord of the Rings set and such. Uh, as far as what's coming down the pike. So I do have another deck guide for uh, um, Mazes and Gates, as well as a little bit of gameplay for that. Um, there's one or two other videos I think that I still need to upload from other things, but that is what's coming down the pike. Um, there will be a little bit of a move away from the more competitive play because of a, another ongoing project that I'll be starting up and I'll have more details on at a later point. But we still will be playing <clears throat> uh, some gameplay with each of the decks, uh, so that won't be going away. But we'll still be doing the top five deck list, which obviously that's not going to change now that they don't didn't do a BNR. So August's list is up. And it's kind of where things stand on the channel. Um, things are going to be changing focus a little bit uh, due to other things going on in the greater MTG Nexus metaverse, so to speak. Um, 
But basically, the content you've come to know and love is not going to change on the channel. We're going to do uh, what I call quick hits that I've mainly done on the modern channel, where I do you know, a match or two gameplay of deck archetypes, kind of give you an idea of what decks are. It's kind of like a, a deck tech and a uh, you know short guide to play the, how to play the deck, at least on some basic level. We'll do that for most of the big decks. That's kind of what's coming up down the pike without there being much of a shift until the new set comes out. And frankly, standard sets don't usually have a huge impact on internal formats. So I don't know that the format will be changing all that much anytime soon. Sans a, a ban some other time, but... Uh, We'll continue working on what we've been working on, and I do have a special announcement that'll be coming up shortly that kind of relates to Pioneer, but, you know, just kind of a different project I'll be working on. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you for our next video.